Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back to another Thrift Store Thursday. I'm so glad you joined me today. Uh, first off, let me just say I apologize if my lighting is wonky today. I've tried my best to make it look natural, but it is 9 o'clock in the morning right now. And it is as dark as night outside right now. We have some sort of thunderstorm slash sleet snow mixture going through right now and it's just nasty looking out there so i'm so glad i am inside nice and cozy warm in my house right now so but i need to get this recorded today because i want to be able to share it with you because yesterday when i should have been re um, recording this i was lazy so oh well <laughs> live and learn i guess so this week i went to the same thrift store two different times and i found some really cool things Found something for my Halloween decor, found some Christmas decor as well, and I also found a few items that are super duper unique and very exciting to me. So I cannot wait to share with you what I found, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright, so I'm going to start with the holiday stuff first because that's what's closest to me. So first off, I found two more little plastic candy pumpkin totes. For my collection I can't even tell you how many I have in my collection right now but I thought this guy's face was so cute and of course this is just a nice little one they both look somewhat old you know they're not like brand new I don't think so that is what drew me to them um, they were both a dollar 49 each I can't make out like I don't know how to date these things but they do say General Foam Plastics, uh, North Fork, Virginia. No dates or anything like that. But anyways, I love using these things. I know I've talked about them before. I know that you saw, have seen them in my um, Halloween home tour. I also have a little tutorial on how to make a little topiary. I believe on my, oh wait, I'm sharing that tomorrow on my DIY channel with these little guys. So anyways, I just think they're fun. I love using them in so many different ways. And I know I've talked about them before, so I won't talk about them too much more in depth, but I just love them. Whenever I see them, I tend to pick them up. So, <laughs> so then the next item I found were some Christmas ornaments. And I am so thrilled about these Christmas ornaments. Last year, I was making mention to the fact that it was odd that I could never find any because I remember making them when I was a child and I found a few, like a handful of them, the very end of the season last year. They're like those stained glass type of, let me show you anyways. I found a whole box of them and they were $4.99 and they're like these little stained glass ones. You know, it's got the little metal and then you put the little beads in and then you put it in the oven and they melt them. I mean, how many of you have made these when you were a little kid? I loved making these when I was a kid, so it was odd to me that I could never find any. So I was super excited to find a whole box of them. Like, I haven't even taken all of them out of the box yet, but this box is plumb full of them. And there's some really cute, super adorable ones in here. Like, of course, there's this little puppy one that I already showed you. How adorable is that? And then there's a reindeer. <laughs> and of course a candy cane there's a beautiful star one and then here's another favorite one of mine I'll just show you this one as last one the candle I love the little vintage candle in all shapes and sizes super excited to have found this one this one doesn't have a little Thing to hang it from that's kind of oh wait there it is it's on the side of the candle sorry I had to look closer but anyways I won't go through this whole box but there are quite a few of them in here and I am super thrilled about it I actually am planning um like last year I have a little tinsel tree that I bought from Walmart last year and I know that they have them this year as well because I saw them already and I'm thinking about getting another one actually so that I can put um, one in each corner of my kitchen um, corners. But anyways, I don't know if I will or not. But anyways, uh, these are going on that tinsel tree because I think they will look amazing on there. So I was super excited. So this whole box was a $4.99. When I was there, they actually had 
a couple other ones, other boxes filled with them as well. But they were a little bigger, and I didn't think they would hang on the tree as much. But then when I got home, I was like, oh my goodness, why did I buy them? Because it would have been fun to add to like wreaths and stuff like that, but oh well. <sighs> I don't know why, what I was thinking. Because I thought $4.94, $4.99 was a good price, but I also thought that's a kind of a big item at a thrift store, if you ask me. So I was happy with these until I got home and thought, oh no, <laughs> I should have bought the other ones. But anyways, I shall look and see if they have them next time I was there. But super thrilled with those ornaments. I think they are so cool and very excited to have found them. So this next item I found is super unique and I love it so much. It was $3.19 and it is from the Yellowstone National Park. It's a little like touristy sort of box you know you can open it up little trinket box basically it says on the front Yellowstone National Park hopefully that will there we go and on the top it has this gorgeous beautiful scene printed on it and it's also it's like shiny and sparkly I don't know if it's going to come up on the camera or not but it is absolutely gorgeous and I thought this would be perfect to use downstairs in my cabin themed room that I'm trying to put together so another thing to put in the stash for decorating that room I thought this was really cool I thought this would look really nice maybe on a side table I can hold like the remote control or something like that or it can you know, hold playing cards, that sort of thing. So I don't know. I just thought it was super cool, super unique, and it's definitely, um, I would say it's definitely vintage. I mean, probably from the 80s or something like that is what I'm thinking. And look at how gorgeous that picture is. I think it is so cool. So anyways, very unique item. I know a lot of you are probably like, oh, Robin, you've gone over the, you've gone over the bend, but I like it. I think it's cool, and I think it'll work in the room that I want to use it in. Plus, you know, I think it's cool. So anyways, <laughs> so that was really, really fun to find for me because I'm really obsessed with making that room down there right now and I always don't have enough yet to decorate it the way I want it to. So it's fun to find little things that I can put in there. <laughs> All right, so the next item I found was a teacup and saucer and it is, you guys, in a lovely red and white transfer wear pattern and I adore it so much it's got like a little barn on it I think that is so cute inside I've got it still taped together but you can see it's got a little design on the inside of the cup it was um 319 that I purchased it so of course I was not going to pass this up because it's you know how much I love red and white I love red and white plates and red and white transfer wear is like the holy grail of, you know, dishes for me and I very rarely find them. I have maybe a handful of plates and one teacup. So now I have another teacup and a saucer. So I'm super thrilled about that and right on time for Christmas too, you guys. How perfect because, you know, I love to use my red at Christmas time. I am envisioning it filled with like cottage roses with some greenery, maybe a little bit of berries, maybe a little ornament sitting here. I just think it's going to be so cute. So absolutely love it. Um, let's see, who is it made by? It is a Johnson Brothers, um, made in England, and the brand, or the pattern, I think, is called Mill Stream. Yeah, so let me show you the mark there. There we go. There's the mark. So, of course, oh man, I love this so much. I think it is the absolute gorgeous little guy. And I could not be more thrilled with having found it. <laughs> Alright, so this next item I have to share with you is a candlestick. And I can't... It seems like it's an out-of-the-box sort of thing for me to pick up. But I absolutely love it. And I don't know why. I cannot describe why I love it so much. But I saw it on the shelf. It was... um. $4.80, and I'm like, oh, I've got to bring this home with me. <laughs> so it is a glass candle holder that looks like this. Oh my gosh, you guys. 
I don't know about this middle part. I'm not super duper crazy about this, but I think it'll look beautiful when the candlelight is shining on it. I think it is very cool. But what really sold me were these amazing crystals on the side of it. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. And this thing is really, really heavy. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I think it is just absolutely gorgeous. I looked to see if there was another one for like a matching pair, but there wasn't, unfortunately. But I just think it is absolutely beautiful. I, of course, am in love with the crystals. I love crystals. I think they are so gorgeous. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to use it somewhere. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to use it. I'm actually thinking maybe like on top of my headboard in my bedroom with like a mirror behind it. I think it would look really, really pretty and be a nice like statement piece, um, but not be like overly busy, if that makes sense. <laughs> because I mean, this in itself is definitely a statement piece and I think it is super cool. So that was my little like little splurge item that was like not my norm this week when I went to the thrift store. And I couldn't be more happy with it. I think it is so, so fun. So I can't wait to get this styled up and put in my bedroom. Although I don't really want to take down my decor that I have up there right now because I'm still enjoying my fall stuff up there. But I think very soon I'm going to want to change it up. So that will be a nice thing that you change it up with. So loving that. I think So anyways, absolutely loving that. Could not be more happy with that one as well. I feel like I'm like a broken record today. I'm like loving everything that I found, which is a good thing, obviously, but it feels kind of silly to keep saying the same thing over and over again. But I'm going to keep doing it because this next and final item, I am over the moon crazy about and uh, I just don't even know how to describe it other than I'm just going to show you and you will see why I love it so much. Are you ready? It's so awesome. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. It is a cast iron Scotty Dog doorstop. Oh my goodness. I am thrilled to have found this. I saw it on, first of all, I saw the Scotty Dog and didn't really know what it was. And then as I got closer to it, I was like, oh my gosh, that's cast iron. And I'm like, before I even picked it up off of the shelf, I knew I was going to buy it no matter what the price tag said because I was already in love. I hadn't even touched it yet <laughs> and I was in love. But here it is in all its glory. Isn't it absolutely adorable? I love Scotty Dogs to begin with. I have a little collection of teeny tiny like little kid Scotty Dog like figurines. So I'm always on the lookout for Scotty Dog things. And this guy is awesome. He is so adorable. I love him. And I've always thought that these cast iron doorstops were really, really cool. So I am thrilled with this guy. I, I don't even, I just want to like cuddle with it, even though it's not cozy at all. But I cannot wait to put this out on my doorstep. Although it really doesn't go with this kind of season, but I might put it out there anyways. <laughs> and I am in love. Look at him, I'll give you a little close up. How adorable is he? You can definitely tell that he has been used because he's kind of getting a little, little rusty down at the bottom. But yeah, love him. All right, so that is what I picked up this week at the thrift store. I am so thrilled, like I've said many times in this video, with all of the items that I found this week. I feel like it was a super amazing week and I hope that you guys had an amazing week at the thrift store as well. So let me know down in the comments what you found when you were out and about thrifting in your neck of the woods and if by chance you were sadly not able to get out to the thrift stores this week, I would love to know which of the items that I picked up would have been your favorite thing to find. Let me know down in the comments. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up as well. That would help out my channel immensely. So I guess that is going to have to be it for me today. I have nothing else to share with you. Um, but I will have another Thrift Store Thursday next week for you guys to enjoy. So I hope to see you again then. And until then, happy 
Thrifty LCSM. Bye now.